All right, we're ready for head coach Tony Bennett. We'll start with questions in the front. Mike, we'll start with you right here. Uh, Tony, coming in, did you anticipate uh, the three on your end being a big part of the offense, or was that something that was just there because of the way they were defending? I mean, we got some good looks, and then you know Kyle put on a heck of a shooting clinic with um, the shots he was making. And I thought, for the most part, they were pretty good looks. Maybe a couple were. Um, Ill-advised, but the majority of them were pretty good looks at, at the right time, so um, they were dropping, so of course you wanted to get Kyle some more shots. Okay, right here, and then David. But I don't know to answer your question, sorry. But I didn't, do we anticipate we we're going to shoot 23 threes? I, you know, I don't, we just kind of go in the game. You take what good shots, take what the defense gives you, so in that way we did that, but I didn't have a plan initially. Rob Johnson, like the Mega Sports Network. Um, speaking of Kyle Guy, every time like BC was getting back to this game and the crowd was going crazy, he would hit a big shot. Just explain his growth through this program and what he'll mean for you the rest of the season. Yeah, well, with him being in their second year, you know, we had, I thought Isaiah was terrific. Stats kind of show it, but the plays he made, Wilkins, um, you know, he's been in a lot of these games as a senior. Uh, and then uh, Devin's been in, in a lot of these games. Jack's a, a junior, but Kyle, Ty, um, really, the rest of the guys are, it's, it's a bit new to have that kind of role in this setting. And I thought, you know, he's grown. He's physically stronger. He's added some weight, believe it or not. Um, and he, he played a lot of minutes, um, took care of the ball. I was happy that we only had five turnovers. Now, there were some holes in terms of not blocking out and doing those things. Um, but Kyle, besides getting the foul at the end, he was, he was pretty darn good. And I think he's just matured. And he... Um, I, I thought we couldn't get separation. Every time he would score, then they would come down in a big bucket. It was kind of back and forth uh, exchange. We couldn't keep Jonathan Williams out of the paint, and they were getting offensive rebounds. So there's some things we can work on. But what a terrific atmosphere, and Kyle seemed to respond well. Okay, David over here on the right. 18 fast break points to none. Did you really tell your guys in preparation to attack the press? Yeah, well, you have to. Um, we played... I can't remember how many years ago, last time we were here. And if if there's something um, behind it and it's a good shot, you have to take it. I think the play of the game was Isaiah Wilkins, you know, what finger roll from 28 feet as he <laughs> ran out of here. That was unbelievable. We were, when he did it, I smiled at the bench. But, but um, yeah, I thought those were important baskets. Nigel gave us a, a couple good um, – he can go from 0 to 60 in a hurry. Jay caught a loop. But there was a few of those that I thought were important. So, yes – Take it if it's there, but make a good decision and then back it out and try to run offense. Every, maybe a few times we were on the edge, but you have, I be, for us, we needed to get some of those. Okay, take one in the back, camera. Coach, um, how good is, how you doing? How good is this game for the state? I mean, like, you know, for you guys to play every year, I mean, you know, get the series back and play in an atmosphere like this where both teams really in the season. Can you just describe how big that is for the state? Yeah, it was a really good atmosphere. That's a great college basketball atmosphere, and I have the utmost respect for the VCU program, what's been built over the years um, from all the coaches, and I really like Mike, Coach Rose. I think he's, you know, how hard they played, uh, the job he's done, great respect for him and this program, and, um, you know, an opportunity for our team to come into an environment on the road early to grow and learn a lot, and I do think it's good for the game in the state. Um, I think that people are excited about it, and again, good for both programs, and hopefully it'll be a, a springboard for both of us. Now, I know they're catching a flight tonight, so maybe one more question box so Coach Rhodes can get up here. <laughs> no, uh, but, uh, but they're going into Maui, you know, and we're, we're going, so um, we're going. Right, I love this, front. so go ahead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Coach Ben, the Real Horns Legacy Maker Sports Network. Got a question for you. How does this VCU team compare to anybody in that you could see in ACC play this year or the style of play? Is, is there anybody in the conference that compares to them? Um, you know, I have to see how Louisville will play, you know, with their press and, and the things they do. Um, I, I haven't studied many teams in our league yet. I mean, most coaches are the same, but uh, – they're somewhat unique in, in that. I mean, they get after you and they make you work and they spread the floor. And when um, the young man, I, uh, I'm sorry, uh, it's Chris, yeah. Chris, the way Lane was playing, boy, that puts pressure. When they are making shots with how spread they are and how much Jonathan Williams has improved, they're a difficult team to play. As far as a comparison, I, I would be stretching it if I, I haven't watched our league close enough yet. Good, kind of time for a couple more. We'll take one in front and then one over here on the side. 
Uh, Coach, how big were the VC turnovers and your guys' ability to capitalize on those throughout? Yeah, I think maybe that's where we got, you know, um, those some, yes, some breaking the press, but I think it was off the turnovers where we got some of the transition baskets or the points. Huge. Uh, good question because Kyle got a couple and those were, those were big plays for us. Anytime we can get um, different kinds of points at the line, although there weren't a ton of free throws for us, we got to keep working on that. Um, but transition points, offensive rebound points, those are big for us. Okay, time for one more on the side. How, how comfortable do you think Nigel is when you guys are kind of pushing the pace a little bit in terms of, you know, how fast he can play? Yeah, I mean, Nigel's fast. I think, you know, we always, we, in, in this game, it was good. He got us down the floor and just back it up with sound decisions. He gives us a different uh, element, and we needed his quickness to get down the floor, and um, he's continuing to learn what we're doing, and I thought his minutes were good. And, um, again, we just we kind of rode those guys who I thought were playing well. Ty hit a huge three late, a deep three. But Nigel, I think, is continuing to adjust and get used to it. He's new to, to this, but he's got great teammates to work with, that's for sure. Thanks, Thanks.